Thank you, James. I'm delighted to see so many people here this afternoon for the um, Heidi Sussastro Prize Award event. And in particular, I'd like to acknowledge Albert. Thank you so much for being here to represent your family, the uh, family of the late Hadi Sasastro. And we are delighted that you could be here and thank you for your kind words. Uh, my parliamentary secretary, Senator Brett Mason, the deputy leader of the opposition, Tanya Plebisek, uh, Professor Hill, um, Secretary Richardson, distinguished guests all. There are two priorities that are very dear to me in this portfolio. The first relates to strengthening our relations with Indonesia. The second relates to building bridges in our region through educational links. And the presence here of so many of our Indonesian friends is testament to the fact that we have a strong relationship with Indonesia and it must continue to grow. It must continue to be enhanced. We are friends, we are neighbours. It's also a fact that many Indonesian students are studying in Australia. About 17,400 students from Indonesia are enrolled in Australian universities and institutions this year. We welcome the Indonesian students and we want to see more. There have also been about um, 3,700 scholarships for Indonesian students to study in Australia, sponsored by the Australian government. Again, we welcome those students, um, we commend them on their commitment to studying in Australia, and we want to enhance those links. My passion in terms of foreign policy initiatives is the new Colombo plan, and many in this room will have heard me speak about the new Colombo plan. Just as the original Colombo plan that existed between the 1950s and the 1980s saw about 40,000 young people from the region come to Australia to study in our universities and get to know Australia through that experience. So we want a new Colombo plan to provide an opportunity for young Australians to travel into our region study at universities in our region, live with families, make friends, um, work in the businesses and organisations that are part of our new Colombo plan. And through that experience, come back to Australia with new perspectives, new ideas, new insights, friends, networks, connections that we hope will last a lifetime. I cannot think of a better way to spend a public diplomacy dollar than the funding that we're putting into the new Colombo plan. And in order to get it right, to make sure that we were able to roll the plan out across Australia, across the Asia Pacific region from universities across Australia, we set up a pilot scheme that is in place this year, 2014. We announced it in last December and we selected four locations for the pilot program for the new Colombo plan. Singapore, Japan, Hong Kong, and Indonesia. And I'm delighted to confirm that the first tranche of students who will be going overseas this year, this April, the first 300 have been announced, and a number of those students will be traveling to Indonesia to live and study in Indonesia. And after we've completed the pilot program this year, we hope to roll the new Colombo plan out across the region. And in this way, we will truly and deeply engage over generations in our region. Today we are celebrating an example of the links that can be built uh, between our two countries. Um, Hardy Sasastro epitomised the type of relationship that we want to build upon with Indonesia. He was a deep thinker, he was an influential leader, and as Professor Hill indicated, he was a great friend of Australia. He set up the Centre for Strategic and International Studies in Indonesia. He was an adjunct professor at Australian National University, and he had deep, enduring and lasting connections with our country. And so it's fitting that we should award the Hardy Susastro Prizes 
to brilliant young Indonesians who are undertaking studies here in Australia. This is under our Australia Awards program and I'm delighted that our two recipients for 2014 are Bimo uh, Wajuyanto, who is studying at the University of Canberra. He's doing postdoctorate work in tax and economic reform, uh, an area of great interest to both countries, but specifically will be of um, great value to his home of Indonesia. And uh, Diana Setiawanti. Now, Diana, it seems, is about to have a baby. And so she is uh, currently in hospital or on her way to hospital. And so we will forgive her for not being here. But I understand that um, Associate Professor Harry uh, Minnis will accept the award on her behalf. But she's studying at the University of Melbourne, postdoctoral work in psychology, particularly with a focus on primary health care. So here are two examples of very smart, very bright, very innovative young Indonesians who are taking the opportunity to study in Australia to enhance their knowledge, to enhance their understanding of not only their specific subject matter, but of the relationship between our two countries. And I hope that Bimo and Diana uh, make friends here and connections here that will last throughout their life. And it's our determination that more young people have the opportunity to spend time, productive time, in each country. So it's with absolute delight and pleasure that I invite um, Bimo and Professor Minas on behalf of Diana to come to the stage. Am I allowed to do this yet, Joan? Yeah. Good. And Albert, if you would mind um, coming up here to, to join us in presenting these awards to two exceedingly deserving young Indonesians. And long may their connection with Australia endure. Very proud of what you're doing and we're sure that you'll return to Indonesia full of ideas and insights and, and uh, contribute to the prosperity and productivity of your country. And Associate Professor Minnis, if you wouldn't mind coming forward and accepting, accepting the award on behalf of Diana